Alright guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the real truth of uh, the POS business. What a lot of people will not tell you about the POS business. Uh, I know it's been a while, so some of you have seen me on camera like this. I just felt it's high time I show you guys and tell you the truth about the POS business and what is really happening now. Okay, if, you are, if this is your first time of watching me on camera or watching my video, my name is Top Hair Lao and uh, i've been in the pos business since 2018 i personally have some personal coach and i attend a lot of events try to learn from the industry what's happening so in this video i'm going to show you what a lot of people will not tell you about the pos business probably you just want to start uh, probably you just want to start your own pos business and you don't know uh what's really happening what's going on so it's actually a, a good time to start the pos business so but uh when when people talk about pos business what do they mean like it, must you own a container before you can do the pos business so and the real answer is no <laughs> yes when i first started out in 2018 my goal was to have a thousand container outlets that is a thousand outlets in different states and <laughs> i was able to achieve about 20 so before i stop because um I saw the way the what's where the industry was, was going so and I think if you are trying to I'm someone that believe in you trying to go where the uh, the flow is don't try to move it against the river uh, if you don't have too much strength like most of us don't um, don't try to go against the river because the agency banking itself by the central bank of Nigeria was introduced so that uh uh people like to reduce cash and to give people access to uh their funds wherever they are so and what the idea then was the sanev and central bank of nigeria so what the, the the idea is for shops shop owners who sell like supermarkets and all these small stores to sell uh to to offer pos business as their secondary business so but with time some of us saw the opportunity that okay this thing can be actually cool we can actually get uh, have a container and run it without any primary business we can run it as a primary business uh then it was profitable in fact then you can withdraw ten thousand naira for 300 naira yes some withdraw it for 400 naira but nowadays if you want to withdraw ten thousand naira if they say 200 some customers will run away so that's it that's the real truth so uh the cbn actually wants those shops to have the uh a pos they have that they will be using for customers to transact as well as to uh, collect payments from their customers that buy from them so that's the entire idea about the pos business and that's where the industry is going to now the big question must you have a container or a, or a pos outlet or a pos shop before you can do the pos business and the answer is a big no yes you don't need to have a container or anything to run a pos business you can run a pos business from the comfort of your room you can see i'm at home i'm not going anywhere i only dress up because i want to make this video for you guys so i'm always like 80 90 percent of time i'm always at home if i'm not traveling uh and the reason is uh, there's a model so there are different aspects to this POS business now the first thing is the first mo model that people know is you have a container you you maybe uh, or rent a shop or you have an employee staying there for you and you start making uh, the money you make transactions for people so that's one model the other model is for you to uh, to serve an as uh, as an aggregator that is you give other people pos they withdraw with it you make commission which is where the industry is going so just imagine that you have um uh, now let's someone was chatting me up today and was saying uh is he is he is he advisable to open pos outlets all around now so though i was telling him it depends on where uh though it depends on where uh, he is like in the south south southeast i think they still have a lot of opportunities there so in the in the north in general they also have opportunities 
but if we are in the south, we all we have opportunity, but it's not compared to other uh, regions in the country. I think the south west, I think a lot of places are filled. So, um, so what you need to do now, you don't need to own a shop before you can run POS business. So, which is why when people are opening shops you can actually be their backbone that is you can be the one giving them the pos why they use their own money to run the business you also make money if someone withdraws one thousand naira with the pos you give them as an aggregator you make is a little amount of commission without involving your own capital so which is where this industry is going having I'm hearing on this a lot of people they were like <laughs> Wait, why are you doing this why are you uh i'm hearing on this because that's where the industry is going because that's where cbn wants the industry to go so that every shop every two shops or every three three shops interval you see a pos and when it gets to that people who are using container who are doing this as their primary business they might not be able to have a sustainable business because most of us who have container we employ employee and when it gets to the uh, to a point where uh, every two shops you have a container a POS container it will not be sustainable again so which is why you have to also get other things in uh, then I had 20 outlets but currently I only have about eight or so that are running so uh, my goal is to reduce the outlets and I know that the my my goal of having 20 outlets uh, a thousand outlets is still achievable because if i give pos to someone is though i might not be able to make much uh, more profits from that compared to opening a pos outlet myself but if i give pos to someone it means i can have peace of mind i won't have to spend a lot of capital to deploy the pos all i need to do is to encourage the agents give them the support they need uh, so which is where this industry is going to so uh, you don't need to you don't need to uh, own a shop a POS shop before you can run POS business so in fact there are a lot of people making money in the POS business if you do a transaction on your POS there are like about six uh, six or even seven uh, parties that are making money from that particular transactions you do the bank the bank that owns the POS that the POS is connected to we make their own money the bank that owns the atm card the customer use we make their own money the company that owns the pos we make their own money nibs says which is which is a switch we make their own money it is routed via interswitch interswitch we make their money your aggregator we make their own money and that like that like that people so uh, even i think some some POS have stamp duty if you use a pos that has stamp duty the government makes their own money even without stamp duty government will make their own money so it's not until you own a pos shop before you can make money from the pos business i have mentioned about seven or eight people that are making money from agents doing transactions so you can come in at any point of of this uh uh, of this chain so if you have the opportunity to uh have own your own pos company fine you can go into it but honestly if you don't have the capacity of OPE and all these big guys uh, is kind of a bad idea so where you can actually come in is to become an aggregator which is why i created my uh passive income aggregator class where i showed you how to become an aggregator and get as many agents as possible no look there are a lot of people that are aggregators they will tell you okay i'm an aggregator but they only have five agents they only have seven agents or eight agents under them eight agents cannot sustain you to be honest uh, you need a system that will bring agents to you even while you are sleeping that people will start calling you at a point in time i had to get a second phone so that people who are me messaging me i'll be able to separate my business line from my normal line which is why uh i set up a lot of tools on the second line so that if you message me even though i'm not online uh you'll be uh, your message will be treated and you have a good experience so uh those are the system you need to put in place so that people will chat you up people will get you get pos for um, as many as possible people imagine having a thousand like now let's say you make 500 naira from one single pos per month even per month 
uh, this is let's just say let, we just want to be realistic you make 500 naira from a pos every month now let's say you have a thousand of that that's about uh that's about let me do the math that's about 500 thousand naira every month and trust me you might you won't be making 500 naira per, per pos there are pos though like daily now there are some there's some platforms i make um there are some platforms i make 2000 era as commission 2 to 3000 as commission on a single platforms and i'm on about is it 5 to 6 i'm adding some now i'm adding some in fact i'll be traveling uh very soon for a platform that they just want to roll out the aggregatorship which is a very big platform that you already know their name but i won't be telling you guys now so uh these are the things i will teach you how to uh become an aggregator how to you, you know you get to some stage in any business that business you won't be chasing business again business will be chasing you that's what this passive income aggregator is about is about having your own passive life uh, uh, lifestyle where you get to sit down in your room though it's not that you won't be working you'll be working but the work is not as if you uh, you go inside the sun and all that all you need to do is just track your agent's performance that's if you want if you don't want leave it your agents are performing even even though you are there or not you are sleeping or not they are doing transaction it is their own business they will make profit them for themselves and they make profit for you so that's what you are going to learn so we are going to learn how to become an aggregator on all these platforms like op uh kudi uh bankly flutterwave and other platforms out there you are going to learn how to onboard your agents and how to get and promote what you uh, are your P the pos you want to acquire for agent how to promote it and get as many agents as possible currently i have a board in my house <laughs> that i put how many agents i want to have currently my target is 800 i'm getting close to 300 you see <laughs> it's even up to 50 percent it's not up to 50 percent yet so my target is 800 agents well currently i have about uh close to 300 as, as i've said and monthly i make between 300 and above 300 000 and above just in passive income uh and you, you you get to make money from commissions you also get to make money when you give people the pos instantly for example as at last week i gave out uh is it two in within two days i gave out is it four to five op pos and on each one i make about five thousand so that's the kind of profit you are going to make and my online course is just for a steep end that i'm charging because a lot of people know me that if i have a course i try to put as much value in it as possible so if you want to join the course just check the description in the link uh the link in the description below you see the link to the course you can check it out if you think it is for you but i know you definitely definitely come back and say mr talkway thank you very much for giving us this course a lot of my students are in the course now they are enjoying it they are saying mr talkway thank you very much for bringing out this course all right guys i, I think we've spent about 13 minutes together so and i hope you catch in on this opportunity don't be like those people that wait even though you don't learn it from me look go and learn how to become an aggregator even though you are going to retain your pos outlets i'm not saying quit your pos outlets even though you are going to uh leave your pos outlets still be running i'm still running my own pos outlets still be running it try to become an aggregator try to learn how to get as many agents as possible under you so that you can make money even when you don't open your shop you still make money because your agent makes money i make money as early as 6 a.m 5 30 in fact there was a day i was trying to make a video or so i checked my dashboard around is it 4 a.m i saw commission <laughs> i was scared <laughs> i was like ah will any agents make transactions uh, uh at this time yeah some agents will make transactions some uh maybe their location is at a traveling place or something or the agent might even want to use his own card to do some things so whatever case is using the pos and making my money so that is it that is basically what the passive income aggregatorship is or what aggregatorship is all about so if you have any other question leave it in the comment below also don't forget guys 
check out the link to the course in the description below if you have any question leave it in the comment box below and if you are yet to subscribe to this channel click on the subscribe button below even though you are not able to take my course you'll be able to learn a lot of valuable things on this channel all right guys thank you very much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next video thank you